Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 4th of April 2024. Indian benchmark indices ended higher in the volatile session on April 4 with Nifty above 22,500. At close, the Sensex was up 350.81 points or 0.47% at 74,227.63, and the Nifty was up 80.00 points or 0.36% at 22,514.70. Top gainers on the Nifty were HDFC Bank, Ica Motors, Asian Paints, Tech Mahindra and Titan Company, while losers were ONGC. Shrirom Finance, Adani Ports, BPCL and Bharti Airtel. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of GM Breweries tanked over 5% in afternoon trade on April 4 after the company reported a sharp decline in its EBITDA margin for the fourth quarter of financial year 2024. The company's operating margin in the January-March quarter contracted to 15.8%, sharply down from 20.1% a year ago. The drag on the company's operational performance was on account of higher expenses related to changes in inventories. The company's net profit for the quarter came at 86.6 rupees crore, up from 35.1 rupees crore a year ago, and revenue rose a marginal 2.1% on year to 159.20 rupees crore, as against 155.90 rupees crore a year ago. Shares of Anil Ugawal led Vedanta Limited rose around 3% to a 52 week high of 312.50 rupees on the NSE after delivering the highest ever annual volume across key businesses. So far in the day, a total of 1 crore Vedanta shares changed hands on the BSE and the NSE combined, compared to the one week average trading volume of 96 lakh shares. In quarter for financial year 2024, Vedanta's aluminium business recorded an 18% surge in volumes at the Langigai unit over the last year. The unit is in focus since Vedanta expanded its refining capacity to 3.5 mTPA. Shares of GE Power India surged 11% on April 4 to hit a 52-week high of Rs 369 rupees a piece on NSE on account of the company bagging two orders worth 774.9 rupees crore from Jaiprakash Power Ventures. The orders are for dilation and evacuation, and supply of wet limestone-based FGDs for the Nigri Super Thermal Power Plant at Nigri and Bina Thermal Power Plant at Bina in Madhya Pradesh, GE Power said in a regulatory filing. The Nigri Super Thermal Power Plant order worth rupees crore is to be completed within 33 months, while the Bina Thermal Power Plant order worth rupees crore is to be completed within 30 months. Shares of Asta DM Healthcare soared 10% on April 4 after the company concluded the separation of its India and Gulf Cooperation Council businesses. After the separation, a consortium of investors led by Gulf-based private equity firm Farja Capital acquired a 65% stake in Asta GCC. The remaining 35% stake along with management and operational rights will stay with the promoters, the Mu Pen family. As for India operations, the Mupen family will continue to own a 41.88% stake. Shares of Avenue Supermarts Limited, which operates the DMART chain of stores, surged 6% to 4,715 rupees to hit a new 52-week high on April 4 morning after the company announced a 20% rise in standalone revenue for the March quarter. The company said its revenue rose to 12,393 rupees crore in the final quarter of financial year 2024. Following the announcement, Morgan Stanley maintained its overweight call and assigned a price target of 4,695 rupees, which has already been breached. Shiva Mills Limited in daily time frame is trading around 104.45 points with a change of 19.58% and is trading with a net volume of around 829.86 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 89.20, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 68.48. Vaisholi Pharma Limited in daily time frame is trading around 169.65 points with a change of 11.98% and is trading with a net volume of around 753.86 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 150.37, which is a good indication for the stock.
while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 66.10. Elgai Equipments Limited in daily time frame is trading around 653.35 points with a change of 10.93% and is trading with a net volume of around 5.1 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 608.61 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 59.03. For the stock recommendation we have, Knox India Limited looks good and can be bought at 1,336 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 1,295 rupees and a target of 1,377 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!